don't know who put this uh, light bulb, but uh, slightly annoying. <laughs> Discount, so you bought basically the entire shop. Yeah, because yeah, I thought it would be <laughs> useful for little projects yeah, as well. That's a great idea. And so, yeah, I took a uh, lot of colors we might or might not want. Um, so you can have fun and so paint everything. We should probably explain what the paint samples are for, shouldn't we? Yeah, I'm not sure actually. <laughs> We want to paint the panelling. That's the next step here. Um, once the panelling is painted, the fundamental decoration of this room is done. No? Hopefully. What? 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 <laughs> um, and so, is this has been one of the things we've left till last to get all the other pieces in place to see what colour would suit because we've obviously got the oranges and browns of the floor, the greyish, yellowish walls and now blue, green and white on this wall. It's a bit of a challenge to find something that's going to go with all of them. So we're thinking of something very neutral, um, probably erring on the side of lighter, but we're going to try a few samples first. And the other thing to say is, some people say, well, why would you paint such lovely wood? What, it's not yeah. <laughs> what probably doesn't come across on camera. Oh, boy. Oh, she doesn't want her hair I understand, Bambi. <laughs> but when you're having a bad hair day, it's sometimes necessary, as Mommy shows you today. Um, so the wood is not good wood. Um, it is very thin, um, cheap. Uh, um, pine that was just bought from the not so cheap, not so cheap pine. Mm -hmm. This part of it, anyway, uh, that was bought so we could just put it together. The top part is rather lovely because that's from our own wood, but no, it's, it's still good. quite knotted. My name is doing the paint. I'm going to install some spotlights along the beams because the at the moment we have the just uh, bulbs sticking out of the ceiling, which don't look amazing. And um, so this will be, will look a bit more finished. I'm wearing my protective clothing and Mark's wearing his good clothes, yeah. <laughs> as always. Because I'm not doing any paint to this. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, the video um, on the Lost Gardens channel made a very funny comment that they liked your Roman security sandals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The Romans knew this. <laughs> so I think uh, now we have a beautiful mural on the wall. Um, I would actually like to have the spotlights on this side to light it. So I'm going to drill a hole through the beam so that we can have uh, spotlights on both sides and also have a better lighting in the room. single version of grey and white in here. I'm going to group them by their rough colour groups and so that I can, uh, I don't know, I just like organising things. <laughs> Thanks, that's very helpful. Hey! I can 
see what looks good against the floor actually with this, good time. worry about dark ones being difficult to cover up and it also means I can then move it around to put the colours next to bits of wall and floor and things and see how they go. Oh hello. Oh look I just spent what half an hour <laughs> searching for a paintbrush and they all come with their own individual paintbrush. Smart of them do that. What's that one called? Kilkenny satin. Satin. This is your favourite one. Yeah, it's really pretty. But I'm now that I'm seeing it, I don't know. It's too blue green. Well, we'll see when it dries. I can't believe it will come with their own. <laughs> That's genius. This is the darkest one. Mark, Mark, well, it's not the darkest one, but Mark really likes this one. Oh, that is nice. What's it called? It's called Hamilton satin. I wasn't going to go for this dark one, but I think I'm going to have a go. Don't touch the paint. Step back, please, baby. Good girl. Is that a dark blue? Um, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, that is very blue. Um, one of the obstacles we've got whilst doing it in winter is it's quite hard to see the colours in bright daylight, and especially today because it's just pouring, it's raining and cloudy, and it's never like that here. So we'll have to wait a couple of days maybe to have a bright day, maybe this weekend. Lunch 
fries would be nice. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I've managed to drill through the, the beam and now I'm going to install the, the light so I need to, to be able to fit this through the beam uh, so the, the cable is a bit too thick so I'm uh, replacing it with um, a thinner uh, sleeve that uh, hopefully should fit through the beam. The disco light is providing some good ambiance. Yeah, we need that to work in a festive atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes it feel Christmassy. <laughs> If it goes through, yes, it does. Did you drop another screw, Mark? <laughs> mm, no, it's the it's the one uh, you were supposed to look for. Here it is. <laughs> I'm standing on it. <laughs> That's why I. <laughs> You're not helping my girl. <laughs> Stop looking at me with that face, <laughs> Some silent judgment. <laughs> I need to modify the lamp a little bit uh, because the, I need to connect the other one to this one. I need to put another connector but I won't be able to fit everything on this one. Okay. I have to drill another hole in the, in the base of the spotlight to let the cable through. This will go like this. Yeah, perfect. Don't know who put this uh, light bulb, but uh, slightly annoying. <laughs> I think we need to have disco lights in every video now, in every room. Possibly. <laughs> I've trimmed the electricity so I can work on the, the cables. Um, and now I'm going to connect these spotlights. Now I just need to reconnect the base of the spotlight. Margot, why did you put my screws? Are these your screws? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Just drop it. Oh my god. There it is. Tiniest little screw over. Don't drop it again. Thank you, Margaret. Did you? Yes. Again? Yes, I did. I feel You're like that dropped. Just here, I think. Oh, yeah. We're going to try and <laughs> Wait, there it is. Alright. Thank you. I'm not sure I'd be able to put it anyway. Is it just that tucked in the corner? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Looks great. Do you have more of those disco lights?
Okay. Done. It's beautiful. So now let's put the electricity back on. <laughs> so how does it look? Really, really good. It really makes the mural pop. Yeah, that's so good. But the lights are different on the yeah. on both sides. <laughs> it's close enough. I put some disco lights for Amy's sake. <laughs> <laughs> this side is actually going to be a lot easier because there's a hole under the beam because it was uh, so much eaten that we had to reinforce it. So I can just uh, put the cable through straight away. Mark, is it snowing? I don't know, you're the one at the window. <laughs> I feel like this rain is more visible than it should be. Maybe it's just very thick rain. I can't tell. Fat rain. It's very fat rain. <laughs> I would be very happy if it was snowing. Oh, that was a flake. That was snow. That was snow. It's four degrees Fahrenheit. I mean Celsius and 40 Fahrenheit. Okay, final answer. It's rain mixed with snow. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> oh, that is snow. That is 100% snow. And still maybe a little rain, but. First day of December, this is perfect. Mark and I have decided to prank Amy. We're gonna put the disco lights there, there, and maybe in the ceiling too. I am so happy. Ooh. I don't think you ever need to change it. I think disco is its final form. <laughs> It feels quite uh, funky. <laughs> you go get Amy. Yeah, let's show her. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, do you like the lights, Clément? No. Oh, oh, oh. Betrayed. Oh, <laughs> nice. Juliet, what do you think? Do you like the lights, baby bird? Yeah. No. Nice. No. Nice. <laughs> do you like Mikhail's story? No. No. We don't like anything, do we? No, I like the Yeah. Oh. But I don't like. Yeah. Come on, loves the drawing. Oh, is there any possibility of having a light you can see by at some point? No. Right, okay. They're sold oh, out. There's a shortage of, there's a world shortage of, uh, I had of hoped, normal LED lights. I had hoped to be able to have a look at the colours, but I feel in this light it's a little deceptive. <laughs> Yeah.
This looks amazing. Thank you for changing me back to the white lights. <laughs> I think I liked it better before. <laughs> I love how it lights up the mural now, just really subtly. It's beautiful. And it warms, the ones you put facing this way just warm up the walls. And, and that corner, like the light, the window there, is just beautiful. <laughs> Our paint samples with one coat have dried. So what I'd like to do is get your opinion on a few of them uh, that you really like, and I'll do, choose ones that I like, and then we'll do a bigger sample with two coats. So maybe you even want to stand further back and tell me which ones you like. Any of them? No. <laughs> uh, what about this one? Uh, I'd say either the one on the left or the second to last. Okay. And three? Mm, maybe the last one. That one on that side? Yes. Okay, that one as well. Any others? I could see the, um, the slightly pink one here yeah. as a fillet together with the okay. grey one. For the doors, for instance. And on this one, I've got some more dark ones. Um, I actually quite like that. I'd like to see a bigger sample of it. I think that one could go in the other room, I think. The, oh. Which um, ones do you like? Any of them? I'd say second and last. That one? And that one? Okay. Right, well, we've got both of our opinions. We're going to do some larger samples, but for now, it's Saturday morning. Uh, we have two little elves who want to go and get a Christmas tree, so we'll be revisiting this next week. Mm -hmm.